Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Mr. Blue's Reading Club. Today, I wanted to tell you about the latest book I read, do a book review on a book by Jean Craighead George on the far side of the mountain. So I got this from my local library. It is a juvenile fiction book. And the back says, this is the second book of the series that began with my side of the mountain and continues with Frightful's Mountain. When I started doing YouTube videos, I knew I wanted to do My Side of the Mountain. And so uh, see in the description below for a link to that review. When I started doing reviews, I knew I wanted to do the, the My Side of the Mountain book. And as part of that research of checking the book out from the library and looking at other books by this author, I realized that this was the second book in the series. So I checked it out and read it. and. I think it was an excellent book. Uh, I actually think that um, my perception of what the book would be about was a little bit different than what the book actually turned out to be. So the book actually turned out to be somewhat of a mystery. It was about Sam uh, doing some tracking and some bad things that happened to him. Uh, through the process, or sorry, before I started reading the book, I assumed that it was going to just be about him having adventures on the mountain and maybe helping his sister get settled on the other side of the mountain and maybe uh, tracking new animals or finding new traps or getting different plants and things like that but it really um, did not feature his sister as much as I thought it would and uh, let me read you the inside cover and that will help you understand why I thought that his sister would be feature so promptly, but I was surprised that she wasn't. Quote, Sam Gribbley, the nature-loving boy who ran away to live off the land in my side of the mountain, is still on his own in the wild. With him now are his falcon, Frightful, and also his peppery young sister, Alice. Suddenly, Sam's peaceful life is destroyed when Frightful is taken away and Alice disappears. To find them, he must leave his mountain home and track his sister across the rocky mountain terrain as only he can do. The trail to the far side of the mountain and beyond leads Sam to danger, discovery, and finally, the hardest decision of his life. With shimmering clarity and fascinating detail, Jean Craighead George continues Sam's story of life in the wilderness and this worthy successor to one of the classics of our time." Close quote. So uh, based on that, I thought that Alice would figure, his sister Alice, named Alice, would figure a lot in the book, but actually turned out not to be so. It was more of uh, Sam tracking his sister down. So I actually consider this mostly probably what I maybe think of as a mystery book. Um, I feel like most of the book is going to make sense if you have not read the first one, but I highly, highly recommend the, the first book, My Son of the Mountain. I did a review on it, as I mentioned, 20 minute review. So that must have meant I really liked the book. Um, this one will obviously be much shorter. Uh, it, it starts off sort of slow. So, you know, it talks about him doing different things and here he is settled in his new home and they built um, a water meal, water mill and they use it for both for uh, grinding and for sawing wood when you don't have any electricity you have to do things like that um, and then eventually his uh, bird gets taken so he has to think of a way to find food so he's worried about feeding himself but also his sister, because remember, there's two of them now, so he has to feed them both, and that's he, he's worried that it's going to be much harder to do without the peregrine falcon named Frightful. So, one of the things that happens, uh, I think starting around in the 40s, so page 42, I think it starts, there's a little bit of uh, back and forth, so it might be a little uh, confusing to some readers, uh, what is happening right now and what's a flashback. That's not my favorite kind of storytelling, so I'll just leave that up to you. Just 
depending on your opinion, whether or not you like that particular part. But uh, certainly it was a, a good book. Um, I like the drama that happened in it. I thought it was interesting to see him uh, try to think through different problems and tackle them. Uh, there was even a little exchange that I liked with Sam and Bando. Uh, they team up to go, take the hike to go look for Alice. And one of the things that happens is that uh, Bando kind of gets tired of sleeping out. So he goes to a hotel and he wants a good meal instead of like wilderness food. So that's, that's kind of a thing. And um, part of the story is related to, or towards the end-ish part of the story, Sam and Bando are eating in the restaurant and the chef is running a restaurant where they offer all kinds of wilderness and backcountry food. And Bando's like, no, I don't want any of that. I just want a steak. And uh, Sam and the chef kind of strike up a conversation about different foods and different things that they could do. And, the, and uh, Sam has some recommendations for the chef, things that the chef has never tried before, or cooked with before. So I thought that was interesting. There's definitely some uh, plot twists, like in any good mystery, and uh, it held my attention to the end, so I like that. And I think that's, I think I'll just wrap it up there. Um, I was going to go ahead and tell all the spoilers and just give a spoiler warning at the beginning, but I decided uh, not to do that. So I'll just um, kind of wrap up here, just saying that uh, I definitely enjoyed the book. I felt that it was uh, definitely a worthy successor to my favorite uh, juvenile fiction book, which was My Side of the Mountain. This was a worthy successor to that. I will be reading Frightful's Mountain next, which is the last one in the series. And just for a preview, here is the book cover to Frightful's Mountain. Uh, this is the part where Frightful, she'll break bonds to find freedom, but love will lead her home. Frightful's Mountain. The sequel to My Side of the Mountain and On the Far Side of the Mountain. So, hope you're having a great day. Happy holidays. Bye now.